Hi, today is the 6th of August 2013, it's 22.10, which is 10 past 10, and today is Tuesday. I haven't done a book for a while, but I think this is book number 7, and um, what happened? I went to church on Sunday, which was, um, I went to work first as well, which was nice, that was okay. I went to church, which was good. I liked it because um, the music, although I didn't know the songs for the new one, they were good, and one of them was called Burn, Burning One, I think, which was really hard to sing, but it really made you sing, it really made you concentrate on the singing, so I think um, I liked that song, and it, it felt like you were sort of wrenching yourself, so it wasn't just uh, singing along to be happy, it was kind of really really taking something from within to sing the songs. So I heard the original which is by Jesus Culture and I didn't like it at all. But our version was good. So um, I enjoyed that and I also enjoyed the sermon which was performed by Scott. And one reason I liked it was he admitted that until now he'd been kind of going along preaching happy, happy, happy without really thinking about what he was doing. So I think that was good of him to admit that, and um, it was just a good thing to remember. Anyway, I'm speaking a bit quietly, so I'm trying to speak up. <coughs> I'm not in a particularly good mood. Um, I did have three days' work this week, but then it was all cancelled, which is really annoying. And um, if I hadn't had some work, I could have had other work, and, it, and then in the end it was too late, so I've got no work. But I have now just been asked to work at Asda in Weymouth on Friday, which is good, but it's at least a two hour drive, a seven ten o'clock morning start. So I've had to leave at the very latest at half past four, which means getting up at at least four, if not four. And it's my first day there, so I need to make a good impression. Um, my other job is I don't see well. I'm just so shattered and exhausted. I spent Monday sleeping all day. I spent most of today sleeping. And I, I sleep for two hours and I wake up. I have to go to the loo. And I still feel shattered. And um, I, don't know, I don't know what to do about today. But um, the other thing is that my friends are coming down this weekend, which is good. But I haven't got enough money to kind of enjoy it. And I'm worried about that. And I'm worried about how I'm going to pay to get to work because I haven't really got enough. I haven't paid any bills or anything that we're going to do because I just haven't had work. And I'm not sure when I'll get paid, so um, it's a bit of a bummer really. But it's been a nice sunny day and um, I went out this morning and sat on the house. Fell asleep, but I was um, trying to get my legs a bit tanned because they are white not having been exposed for a very long time and then I went out later to Costa, my favourite place, definitely, and had a coffee there for about an hour, read a bit of my book which is good but I um, couldn't really concentrate on it. And then I thought I'd go out later which I, I did and I just come back from the Barbican where I didn't have enough money to buy dinner so I sat with a cup of coffee and it always it's always difficult because you're on, you've got a table, and then if you go up and get a drink, you're going to lose it. And you've got nowhere to come back to. And I didn't have a lot of money anyway. But there was a, a guy singing, he was quite nice, with guitar, and a girl sang. So I sat there for quite a while, and um, then I went and I bought some fish and chips from the shop on the bar again. So I saved myself a little bit of money because I had been going to buy a steak, which would have been a lot more expensive. So, that's it really. Tomorrow I haven't got any work. Thursday I haven't got any work at the moment. Who knows? Um, I was going to take the car back from Chevy, but now I need it to get to Weymouth. So I have been hoping to get some money back from that, from the deposit. But that's not going to happen now. I'm so fed up with Weymouth all the time. Everyone else is out and about. 
Come in for that. I heard someone talking. I'm saying that I'm having to the shop. The way it works in was it on five pound something an hour? So basically, if they did a fifty hour week, they would get two hundred fifty pounds. It's not a lot, is it? No, yeah. And if they did less, they'd obviously get less. So if they did a forty hour week, they get two hundred pounds. So seeing as I do um getting on for although it's gone down, two hundred pounds a day, so I have hundred and seventy. It's a lot better than doing a full week for that, isn't it? Which means I'm stuck with pharmacy. Which also means I'm stuck with my money. Which is no work. And I was gonna be positive and contact people and say, Look, you should be employing me because I'm the best pharmacist despite being massive all the time. But I don't, I just haven't got the energy to kind of do it. And will it do any good anyway? I don't know. So I'm just kind of seeing what will happen. And um, again, when I go to church, they tell us to pray and to ask for what you want or what you need, and it will be given. It means it hasn't been and it isn't to be and doesn't seem to it be going to be. And I don't believe in that anyway, because the thing is, I believe if God cares about us, he should be looking after us anyway. Not because we ask. And um just to ask to have like from for instance, my big prayer would be to have financial freedom to do things which God thinks I should be doing, or which he has listened to me, which would mean paying off my debt, and allowing me to live on a lot less than I actually can manage. So therefore the rent would be cheaper, the bills would be cheaper, but it's not going to happen. And I just don't know how people survive, I don't know how I'm going to survive. And then to have the freedom to do what you want and just enjoy life, you know. There's so much to one could be doing. I can't come down, I've got this car, I haven't been anywhere in it because everywhere's too far away and it costs too much. And then I haven't got the money to do what I want anyway. <sighs> so, uh, Anyway, the other day I was watching a video about how to lose weight, not one, and it promised that by the end of the video, which was about half an hour long, he would be given a secret that this guy has worked out about how to lose weight, and it's to do with the fact that he thinks when, when we eat certain types of food, bad foods, our fat cells in our body swell up like a balloon, so they take much more room and that's what causes the, the flabbiness and the everything else. Now it sounds quite a good idea, good theory, but he didn't actually tell us what to avoid, and of course he didn't tell us what to eat. Apparently it's to do with the metabolic rate, and certain foods slow down your metabolic rate, they cause the fat to swell up, and, and it's just like, that's it, you're fat. And there's nothing you can do with your diet, exercise, you're still going to remain the same. And it's like, you know, he says, certain people can look at them and you get that, oh, this is a bit like that. So, I think I believe in that, but then he didn't give us the answer, because of course he wants us to buy his reading set at vastly reduced price. And I'm not going to do that. And the thing is, if it works, then other people would know about it, wouldn't they? So they would be telling us. But I reckon it's to do with not eating bread, processed bread, and cereals, and eating natural foods, and perhaps avoiding potatoes. So you get rice, and what he calls natural sort of foods that we would hunt or gather, you know, fish, meats, or all that, and being processed and put in pies and stuff, then one would remain skinny and muscular and lively and active 
but it sounds good. So therefore, I should be willing to pay this the amount of about fifty dollars. But I think it's hypocritical. And this guy reckons that he's got he was fat, and he sort of applied his diet, and he lost the weight very quickly, and it stayed off. So it's nice to think it wouldn't be skinny, but I probably wouldn't ever be. And um, that's the thing you see, everywhere you look, people are offering things at special prices. Everything is really cheap at the moment. Everything's on special offer. And it is. But the thing is everything else costs too much. So that you don't even have the money to do that. I want to buy a new table for Gibson. I want to get rid of this horrible glass table that I sit on every day. And um, buy myself a nice little wooden one that I can fold up. And it'll be about forty pounds. I haven't got 40 pounds. I want to buy a new Hoover. Because the Hoover here, although it's a Dyson, isn't possible to use. So I rarely use it. So I can't put it together here and it's very really cumbersome to use. So I've got the Hoover. So a new Hoover would be nice. You can get one for about 40, 50 pounds probably. From Astro Tesco. But I've got money. I had wanted to send my passport off. I need to pay my TV license, I need to pay my couch tax, I haven't paid any rent, I need to keep money back for the car, for petrol, and um, I haven't got any money, although I am a lot more than everyone else. I've got to go and buy some new clothes. I'd like to go to London, that's what I really need to do. I really need to go and I can't because it's all too expensive. So, although everywhere you look around, everything is cheap. Clothes are cheap. Furniture is cheap. Everything is cheap. I can't afford it. So, what I'll be doing is just talk for a minute.